everyone today we are going to be unboxing something I'm very excited about and this is the W7 extravaganza advent calendar I don't think there's been many unboxings of this on um, YouTube so I'm excited to unbox this I like the thought of unboxing this for you this was 9.99 I paid 9.99 in a stall in the Metro Centre for but you can get it online ranging from 15 to 25 pound but i have seen some for 10 too so it's really where you can find it it has been hard to find it was sold out i've been trying to get this for ages but it was sold out online then i was shopping in the metro and i actually just seen it and i was like oh i'm gonna grab that and then i've checked and it's back in stock online for 15 where i found it so i will link it down below hopefully it's still in stock for you and I'm excited to unbox it. I've seen one person unbox this and I'm quite excited to unbox this for you actually. So yeah it is here. It's really quite pretty. It's very um new year I would say. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like new year-y. Um, and we're just going to unbox it and I think it goes along like this. So you don't have to hunt for the numbers. So I suppose that's good. It depends on your preference. I kind of like to hunt for the numbers. I'm hoping it's easy to get into. So let's just get into it. This was £9.99 or £15 depending where you get it. Or oh, can be even more. But if you can get for fifth or the cheaper price, you're going to get it for the cheaper price. Do you know what I mean? Right. So day number one. And this is W7 if you didn't know. And I have unboxed one last year. They still sell it. And my thoughts on that was very rubbish. So let's see what this one is like. So day number one. Right, what we got? Okay, it's um a highlighter or a foundation or something like that. Ooh. It's probably your seven be made up. That doesn't look very pretty, does it? You can see my bin. A W7 beam me up. So I'm thinking it's an illuminator. So that's exciting. And um, they are very known for doing dupes of benefit products, W7, if you didn't know. Right, I'm going to swatch it for you because, I mean, why wouldn't I? Whoa, a little goes a long way on this. I mean, I could beam my whole hand up with that. Oh, underneath your foundation. That is stunning. I'm just getting my cloth. It's over there. Wow, that is stunning. Right, day number two. So day number one. Mm. <laughs> day number two is just a small little square one and i think we're going along as we go all right see if we can get it out yes we got it out but it's halfway across white light like dusty powder i wonder if this is glitter for your eyes i'm just gonna check see if this is eye safe or not so i'm not 100 percent sure i would have to google it if I do Google it, if I remember to Google it, I will put it down below. But actually, I wanted to mention that this W7 is not tested on animals. I don't know if they're vegan, but I definitely know they don't test on animals. I don't think all their products are vegan because they do do like a separate vegan line. But it is cruelty free. So that's good and all for a budget brand. And that is it there. It's like a gorgeous white dish. Should I swatch it? Obviously, you would need like a glitter glue or something if it's for your eyes i would have to google that or eat um get in touch with that as it's there oh my god that's stunning it doesn't seem to have the sharp corners slow so we went to day number three yeah, i'm so excited i love advent calendar unboxes all right this is a ch ch cheeky flusher. So up to now, we've had three good products in a row. I mean, they're not massive, but I mean, you know. Oh, this is stunning. This is the W7 Cheeky Flusher Blush. Do you not think that looks like Rock Toe? I'm just saying it. Just saying it out loud. That is absolutely, I can't see because of that highlight. It was so gleaming there that is absolutely stunning absolutely stunning and it is just a nice size and now i can't get it back on <laughs> really nice size that was day number three one day number four it's another little square one 
All right, this is a W7 Banana Dreams Powder. A W7 Banana Dreams Loose Powder. Oh, it doesn't have a sifter. Oh dear. It's just like a literally a yellow powder. I would assume this is to set under your eyes. Um, I might be too pale for a yellow powder. That is it there. Oh, tell you, it feels beautiful. Really nice. Four days in a row and we are getting good products. Number five, day number five is a little like square one. The packaging on this, I love the packaging on this. All right, we've got a mini skinny lippy and it is looks like it's a little liquid lip, like a matte liquid lip. That is it there. It went on so smoothly. Beautiful that is. Absolutely beautiful. Date number six is a little bit longer and it's a downwards one. All right, it's something clear. Oh no, it's not something clear. This is a little lipstick. We got these in the last one. They are okay. They just make me think of kids' makeup. But I mean, if they're good, it's just a creamy lipstick. Oh my god, that colour is stunning. That is the colour there. I mean, you could get a few uses out of that. I think that's an alright size. It's not horrendous considering how budget friendly this advent calendar is. And we haven't had a dud product yet. And we're on day number six. We want day number seven. All right, this looks like a full size product, which is always good. This is a W7 Lip Twister. Now I'm not really f very familiar with W7, so I don't know their prices of their stuff. Oh, this is a beautiful nudie color and it's actually quite creamy. I would say it's just a touch more harder than the Rimmel ones, which I love. That is it there. Really nice nudie Kylie Jenner sort of lip, I would say. This is day number seven, so we want day number eight, and it's in the same sort of door, so I think it's going to be the this this same sort of thing. It should be a bummer, like two days in a row. Yeah, it is. But I mean, it's a full size, so. And this is another W7 lip twister, and this is in more of a pinky nudie colour. This would go lovely with that lipstick. You see? Really nice. And I would say this is full size. It looks full size to me. So, I mean, that's it to my face. <laughs> I don't know if that helps, but, you know, I've got a big face. <laughs> right, so we are on day number nine, which is another one that looks... No, it looks a bit bigger, actually. It's day number nine. Let's have a look. What are you? This oven can has blowing me away. I'm loving it. Right. All right, it's another like pencil type thing. All right, it's a black king coal liner. The packaging's lovely. It's like a matte black. It's not the creamiest. I'll tell you that now. This is not the creamiest eyeliner. As you can see, it's a bit flaked off. But I mean, it's all right. It's not the worst I've tried in these advent calendar boxes. But it's not the best either. So we want day number 10. And it's been pretty easy to get the stuff out, if you do think. <laughs> right, day number 10. Let's get into you. Oh, another lip product. Oh, I'm ripping this to pieces. So pretty. So pretty. Um, it's another lipstick, but this looks like in a deep red. Let's have a look. Oh my god, that is so creamy, it's unreal. That is it there. I am not keen on creamy reds. I will tell you that now. Just my preference though. I, I haven't got the straightest of teeth. So it doesn't really help me. Um, Day number 12. Let's get into it. Ooh, another matte lip. If you like lip products, I think we've been quite lip, lip heavy. Um, We've got a mini skinny lippy matte again lip colour. This is like a nudie one. I think that will go with the nudie lipstick, lip liner we've just got. I'm just going to swatch it above it. That is it there. So that is this one there. They're just small sizes. But I mean, how many times do you use a lip product up? I'm very much in that mindset. Unless it's a lip 
balm. I don't use them very easily. So day number 13. Oh, this one's a bit hard. I want to go open. Oh, it's another lip product. So it is quite lip heavy. It is lip heavy. This is another new, like a nudie colour. So I don't know if we've had a creamy nude. No, we haven't. Oh, that was stiff to open. This is like concealer lips, I would say. That would go lovely with the lip liner too. That is it there. So I think you get like lip liners conjoined with the lipsticks. Really nice. So date number 14. And like, oh, another one. It's like another nude. It's It looks slightly different, but not much different. We'll swatch it now, right? Of these little lipsticks. I think these are so cute. They make me think of Polly Pocket for some reason. Wow, this one is super creamy. Yeah, it's just another nude lip lipstick. I was going to say lip liner. Date number 15 is slightly smaller. So this one is... I mean, you could just open whatever doors you want and not follow the order, you know? So because we've had like five lip products in a row, um, this is another lip product. This is a mini skinny lippy matte lip colour. So it's another one of their mattes. So I'm going to put it up here. And they are drying down matte and all. That is it there. So that's got more of a red tone to it. It's like a pinky red tone. Okay, we've got day number 16. And this looks like it's not a lip product. <laughs> Yay! Mind you, I can't complain. Like, eh, we haven't had a dud product yet. I just can't get over it. I just got. I'm, just, I'm excited to open this. This advent candle is blowing me away. Like, really is. Right? Oh, we've got a mascara. W7, I think I've had one of their mascaras before and I loved it. It was like a, a total dupe of benefit mascara. It's not a full size, but it's a good deluxe like sample. Obviously, these aren't deluxe samples, but it's a, a sample, like a deluxe size sample of their mascara. I wouldn't. Oh my god, look at that brush. Oh, I'm excited about trying that. Like, that is different. This is the Lashes Jello. Gel volume mascara that sounds really good. Just need a brow product or something, don't we? And a blush. Oh no, we got a blusher. Um, right, date number 17 is here. A little square. So let's see what this one is. Oh, it's another glitter, but this one is absolutely stunning. This is right up my street. I hope these are eye safe. Please don't spill it, Gina. Can you see it? I hope you can see it. I really hope this is eye safe. It's stunning. Oh, you can't because it's not like sticking anything. It's just falling. Oh my God, that is stunning. I will try and put a clip of it in here. Date number 18 is a bit of a larger square. So that's exciting. Oh my God. I've been wanting to try this for ages, like ages. This might be a dupe of the Mary Luminizer. I've never tried that either. I've been wanting to try that for ages too. It is the W7 Glow Motion, but I've been putting myself on a makeup -y band stop, as I buy loads of Van Gogh's to start using some of my makeup up. Oh, this is absolutely amazing. It feels beautiful on my finger. Looking at it though, it might be a bit dark. Can you see it? For me. Oh my god, in the summer, I am going to rock this. I'm telling you, I love that. It feels absolutely so beautiful. Don't know if he's going to pick it up because it's quite a gloomy day. Oh my god, I'm so excited about that. <laughs> I'm really excited about that. Day number 19. I'm sorry if you can't see. I'm just like totally useless at this. <laughs> Right, this is something I'm not going to swatch because I know I've, I've had this. I got it in the, the last year's advent can. It's too, it's too dark for me. This is the Honolulu bronzer. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to keep this for a giveaway or something like that. No, it's not like massive or anything like that, but I think you would like it. It is just the Honolulu, Honolulu, Honolulu bronzer by W7. Um, Honestly... 
this is too dark for me so I'm absolutely like a ghost and even in the summer it was too dark for me so it's a shame but that is actually a decent product too it's meant to be a bene benefit hula dupe but I think it's a touch darker than hula um day number 20 oh another um glitter i'm hoping these are i say like i say i would imagine so this is holy halo and this is absolutely stunning oh you can see that see if i can get used to see the black one oh this is stunning absolutely stunning just gonna say it they are absolutely stunning by god we haven't had one dud product we are on day number 21, we haven't had one dud product. I mean, we've had a few lippies like, but as I speak about lippies, we get another lippie. Um, this is the W7 Mini Skinny Lippy in a matte colour again. I, oh, they do have names. This one's in apples and pears. I didn't know they had names. Oh, this is like a brown. Is it there? really nice that's like a brownie nude Ooh, exciting date number 22 is a, like a, a long sideways it is another lippy so this is very lip oriented this is a nude lipstick again i'm not really a lip girl that is it there oh my god i love that color that reminds me of the one that I've got from MAC. MAC 4 so much, really does. I'm going to have to compare them. Um, and then we've got day number 23. We're nearly at the end. It's a long, skinny one again. Let's have a look. Oh, it's a eyeliner in blue. Oh, something different. That's not something you would, I was expecting. It's the same texture as the other eyeliner, but my God, look at that. That is such a pretty colour. Really nice. And then day number 24, last day of the advent calendar, which is such a shame. I'm so sad that this is ending. <laughs> I'm really enjoying it. It's another lip pencil and it's in another nudie colour. So if you're different skin tones and things like that, I suppose you should at least get at least your, your lips for better colour how many nudes you've had this is a gorgeous very fair nude it's really quite pretty what do you guys think of this advent calendar i paid 10 pound i can find it for about 15 online you can get like um the stores that sell makeup have i missed day 11 i have i've missed a day i bet you were screaming at me i've just noticed when did I miss that? Day 10 because I'm going in a line. Oh my god, I bet you were absolutely screaming at me. <laughs> so we have got another product, day number 11, and it is a brown liner. I can't believe I've done that. I'm so sorry. It's the same texture as the other eyeliner. It's a very dark brown, really nice. I bet you were like, you've missed day number 11. <laughs> I would have been like that. But anyways, now we've unboxed the whole advent calendar. What did you guys think of it? I thought this was worth every penny. Out of the budget advent calendars I've unboxed now, this blows it away. Because every product has been a makeup item. Not one, no sharpener, no makeup application, even no nail file and no nail polish. I like getting them things though. But I mean, if you are a makeup junkie and you want to try makeup, then definitely, yes, this is well worth it. I would say if you're not a lip person, you probably would not like this. But for £10, you're getting 24 products. And they are actually makeup products. Absolute bargain. Um, or 15, depending on where you can find it. I'm going to link it down below because, I mean, this was such a good buy. I hope you've enjoyed this advent calendar unboxing and when you can I just say when you compare this to the Technic one because W7 Technic um Sunkiss I always compare them on the same wavelength this is how you do an advent calendar 
but I will say that I haven't canned that last year was the same it was absolutely not the best of so like it was the same as the Technic one and stuff like that but this year they pulled it out the bag and honestly it's it's been the best buy to me budget wise I think Canada really has and I've really enjoyed unboxing it so and anyways I hope you enjoyed this video if you like these videos please subscribe down below because I'm doing 25 days of Christmas and I've un unboxed a lot of advent calendars as well if you want to go and check them out and I will see you all in my next one bye